Welcome to your activation Aquarius. Okay so we're going to be doing the activation at the end of this video so please stick around um, so that you can have that done even if the messages throughout don't necessarily resonate with you it is a general reading so they're not going to um, be for everybody but still do the activation okay. The other thing Aquarius is if you see any other activations pop up or that have popped up that you feel drawn to go and do those you know never mind the zodiac sign just go and do them anyway because there'll be something within you that needs that activation and the other thing Aquarius is if there's any activations that haven't popped out during these um this round of readings then I'm actually just going to do those as extras so keep an eye out for those as well okay so let's get started Hidden realms, create conscious awareness. <clears throat> I feel like Aquarius, this is saying for you to um, become aware of hidden realms that, you know, that you are able to connect with um, because I feel as though there's the possibility of you bringing through information potentially that may be able to help you on this earth plane. And um, sorry, Aquarius, I just had to um, clear my throat. And, um, you know, the information that comes through may be for other people as well. Oh, wow. Okay. This is so interesting because all this time I have only ever seen these eyes here. I thought they were wings, but now I'm seeing the eyes. So I'm just wondering for you, Aquarius, if there's something you're seeing that not everybody is. They are wings, though. They're wings beneath the eyes. I wonder if... I wonder if it's sort of like you can use wings to propel you or, or help you ascend so you can see above situations, so you can kind of rise above situations and see things that, you know, from a perspective that maybe uh, not everyone would otherwise see. Very interesting. That's, wow, I can't believe that I haven't seen that before. There's something about the vibration here as well. Something about the crown chakra. Actually, no. From the heart chakra up here, there's this vibration that emanates or can emanate from you. Um, see, I'm seeing these wings here again. Look at this. This person putting their arm, arms out and these wings here. I've never seen these before. So there's something about your, you being able to... Ascend. Something about you being able to ascend here. Oh, hang on a minute. This flew out. Look at this. Three of Cups. I wonder if a connection with um, people, whether it be friends um, or certain people of a particular vibration, um, pot potentially from your soul family, will help you to make this connection. Because notice here how they're actually looking at the stars here right and and it's like this connection with the hidden realms and so it really is becoming conscious of those so that you can connect in okay we also have the eight of cups here very interesting very interesting <clears throat> i feel as though my throat's still going funny oh gosh okay so much i'm seeing in this card here I feel like this is walking away from something that you have been passionate about, heading towards something that is way more than you could have ever dreamed. It's almost like that. What was in the cups? It was, you know, it felt like this is as good as as it, as it gets. This is how um, how how powerful the fire burns, and then you turn around and you see this the sun rising over here and you're like whoa this is beyond what I could have ever imagined 
And I feel like that's metaphorically, and I feel like as though Aquarius, when you connect into these hidden realms, there's going to be some sort of epiphany for you. Living light energy, see the beauty in life. is very interesting again something I haven't seen in this card and the other readings this here okay I've got a couple of messages here see I usually see this here as um, a graveyard okay like tombstones so for some of you I want to say don't um, write yourself off sooner too soon. Don't write yourself off too soon because it's as though there's something, it's like this connection is going to allow you to spring to life somehow, okay? Um, the other thing I want to say is that for others of you, this looks like a maze to me. It's like some of you may be walking, you know, and maybe it was with this Eight of Cups here, you were walking along and it's like you're in this maze and you couldn't quite find your way to the end. And so you've chosen another path and this is going to bring you out of the maze. And it's it's almost as though you've seen the tree, the litter nut tree. You've seen the light type of thing. Um, yeah, wow, that's so cool. Super cool. Tell me more about living light energy. You see, living light energy, it really is that vibration, isn't it? Aquarius of, of, of living in the light, the vibration of the light and bringing that through. Because ultimately, you are, if you're here, Aquarius, you're a light worker, right? Too many cards there. Um, so it, it really is standing in, in the... Um, and that pure light, I want to say. We've got the Seven of Wands here. And do you notice here how um, she's in this, this bubble? And she's really got this intuition thing going on here. And we've got the Wands here. Like, you know, whether this is people or not, I'm not entirely sure because we can't see the people. So is this her own thoughts or is it other things that are prodding and poking at her either way what's happening here this could be her mind this could be her mind you know I feel like yes this is what the message is and this is would help to live this light energy right and to connect with the hidden realms to really go within it's like this ignoring those, you know, she's there like, no, not listening to those. I'm not listening to those pesky thoughts that are hounding me day in, day out, right? She's like, mm -mm -mm. I'm going within and I'm allowing my intuition to lead me. I'm allowing myself to be in that space. She's living in this bubble. She's living in the bubble but she's still in the realm of earth but she's this could be this result of of tapping into these hidden realms you know let's have a look here too many cards here too many cards Aquarius just one no then we have even more fallout okay right one card for Aquarius for, here we go thank you yeah five of wands look at this this I feel like this is this internal battle, you know. Um, I'm just tapping my computer over here because I've written down the um, activations on the computer so the writing's not so small. Um, so, yeah, I need to keep it activated. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely an internal battle I'm feeling here for you, Aquarius. Um, this internal battle is um it, it's almost like for some of you you're trying to you're trying to diminish all this debris in your mind um but there's a way to go about it there's a way to go about it and it's sort of like the thing of not continuing what you do you have done 
and expecting the same, you know, a different result. You need to change it up and you need to do something differently. <laughs> and here we have channel your knowledge, critical judgment. Yes. Okay, so for some of you, this is about journaling these thoughts, these critical thoughts down on, okay, yes, yes, yes. Channeling the critical thought, okay, breaking up a page into two columns, writing down the critical thought that you may have about yourself or pertaining to anything in your life, and writing down on the in the other column a, a thought to flip that thought, the opposite of what that critical judgment is, okay, so that you can start to train your brain to think in another way. Um, the other thing, though, is this is also with these. Oh, these are the eyes. These are the eyes. So this is channeling. This is channeling, right? Sit down and start writing. Start channeling. Okay, if you don't already, if you do, do this daily. Do this on a daily, okay? Yes. Wow. Wow, this is really cool. I just saw 11 11 on the timer then. <laughs> it's getting exciting. Can't wait to see what your activation is. Okay, right. Channel your knowledge. Critical judgment. Tell me more about this for Aquarius, please. Oh, yeah. Five of Swords. See, this is like, this is this, this, this battle going on for sure. We've got the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. I feel like the crows, I feel like some of you may have feel, felt that you've lost a battle and you're going over it and over it and over it in your mind, um, but there's been some sort of um, defeat, I feel, and, and it's very important for you to actually get this out, okay? Um, too many cards. What have we got for channel your knowledge? Definitely getting those emotions out on paper for sure. Too many cards. One card for Aquarius. See, I need to... This is the thing. Maybe it's a case that you also need to stipulate very clearly what it is that you want. That's what's happening here. Six of Cups. Okay, so this could be something from your past here. Okay. Um, that you need to release that you could be battling over and over and over in your mind, okay, having this internal battle about. It could also be, this is so interesting with this deck because there's so many different messages that I get, but um, I can't come away from it. And I have to say, Aquarius, this could be a loss in your life, whether it be a parent or a family pet uh, that you've had that's still really, really heavy for you okay um that you may need to write about i feel as though there's this sort of um for some of you it's like you need to go back to the beginning of the loss and write down your experience write down everything you felt okay and I feel like with these hidden realms here, realms here, it's almost like there's there's certain things that are stored in those realms for you to tap into, and you need to bring them through, and that in turn is going to help other people potentially deal with anything similar going on in their life. Okay, some of you, it seems like some of you might feel like you feel a bit silly. Um, for how deeply you still feel about this, um, but there is no limit to gr grief. Grief, you know, it, it, it's we we can't control it, and um, yeah. So so please be gentle with yourself as you are doing that. We have energy signature. The past is in the present. Yeah, see, bringing this past into the present here. The other thing this could be to do with is healing. Some of you may still need to be healed from the past. Um, I'm sorry if that machinery is annoying for you. To be 
beautiful day. So, you know, everyone's out doing their thing. Yeah, energy signature. Let me see. Even, wow, we've got the sun here. Yes, this is you walking towards the sun here, right? Look at this connection here. Even the sun. It's this hidden realm, right? It's in a realm of its own. Yes, you can see it, but it will blind you if you look at it for too long, you know, unless you know how to do sun gazing. But it's still another, I don't know. I'm seeing it as another realm for some reason. There's this connection and you see, oh, see, like this dude here is standing far, far away from earth, connecting with the earth. And then we have the sun. <laughs> it's getting even more exciting. Right? So. I'm wondering if some of you are from the hidden realms. I'm wondering if some of you are from the hidden realms initially before coming here to earth. And maybe this connection is for you to bring through that energy signature that you have innately in your soul. To bring through to share. And it's like once you make that connection, bam, it's going to come through and poof, you'll be able to. Here we go. Here it is. Like a hidden a, a, a gift. It's this activate. Ooh, this is what maybe we're doing the activation for, right? Now, let me pick that up. Okay, so we've got the magician. Oh, there's another card there. Okay, we've got two cards. <laughs> We've got the magician here, okay, really, really, yes, see, this is going to allow you to bring through whatever powers it is that you have, that you possess, it's going to allow you to become comfortable with doing that, okay, and I'm just wondering if this is, you know, channeling this knowledge is going to help bring that through as well, okay, and then we have the full, so this is a whole new journey. Okay, and one that may feel a little bit scary for you because maybe this is stuff that you've never tapped into before, Aquarius. Um, that looks like an amethyst she's holding in her hand. So, look, I haven't really seen that before. So, maybe some of you could get an amethyst to help you with this work. Okay, to clear the energy and clear the channel, clear the debris rather than trying to set it on fire. You can clear it with the crystal. Okay, so let's have a look. Third eye vision, reclaim your mind. Wow, wow. Yeah, getting rid of that debris, right? Really allowing yourself to tap into that third eye because look here, this, this connection here is coming into that area of the third eye. Man, that's really loud. Hey, that, whatever that is. Okay, right, yeah, anyway. Reclaim your mind. It's like for some of you, it's sort of like, I don't know, it's like stepping into the power of your mind, not with the overthinking or anything like that. I don't know, it's kind of bizarre. It's like, it, but it's this kind of thing. It's channeling this knowledge it's not going to matter what is going on in your mind. When you're in that space, whatever comes through will come through. It won't happen what's hap it won't matter what is happening up around here. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, so what else have we got? For third eye vision. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, that's so interesting. Look at this growing out of her head here right? It doesn't matter what's going on with your mind. See, she's sitting in this here. She's sitting in this. She's got this pentacle here, right? She's, it's like she's channeling the information. Although the queen of pentacles knows what to do with the pentacle, with the pentacle, that's not an issue, but it's like she's channeling information about something. And, and I feel like it's as though she knows that there's so much more to this pentacle that could be done and she's just channeling that information to sort of expand on her knowledge. The page of pentacles, yes. See, this is learning, right? This is learning. 
Oh, so it's sort of like going back to a time where you learned how to use the pentacle, right? The pentacle being metaphorical, whatever, you know. Going back to a time where you learned, because I feel like some of you have this in you already, but you haven't been tapping into it. So it's going back and bringing through what it is that you already know. And this could be the basics of something, bringing that forth. And that's going to open the door for you to expand on that and take that even further. Yes, Aquarius. Okay, right. Astral travel. Caution needed. Very interesting. Fear. Fear. Make sure that you um, have protection around you. It could be fear because for some of you, this could be stepping into a very unknown territory. Okay, it could be that maybe when um, there was a time that you were learning to do something that um, it didn't work out too well, you know. It didn't go the way you thought it would. And um, it may not have been the right time for you, Aquarius. It may not have been the right time. Now is the right time. Okay. Um, we have the two of wands here. So this is you deciding which way you want to go. But there's this. It's like this waiting for this light bulb moment. Okay, it's like waiting for the light bulb moment, but it's almost as though you actually need to take the action. You can't just sit there waiting for that to happen. You need to take the action, and I just keep coming back to this, to channel your knowledge, right? Tap into these hidden realms. Realms, realms, whatever. You know what I mean. Yes, yeah, see? Learning a different way of doing things. Learning... Um, <clears throat> you know, just coming back to this passion here of walking away from this passion and playing around with different things uh, to, to find a new way to actually do what it is that you want to do. Okay, so Aquarius, let's get to this here. <laughs> Sorry, I do get a little bit excited about these eight passions. Okay, give those a shuffle. Split them all up. Ready? Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Very nice. Okay, let me just get my computer. Okay, so keepers of the earth. Let's have a little look. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read through the meaning of the card for you and then we'll do the activation, okay? Right, Aquarius, you are so supported. You do not stand alone. You have a magnificent team of helpers, both in this world and of the earth, who are here to help you every step of the way. Call upon them for assistance. They are here to help. The keepers of the earth acknowledge the work that you have already done and are ready to work through you. They bow at your feet and thank you for wanting to stand for them. To devote your life to protecting the earth in your unique way. It is time to increase your capacity to receive support in the physical realm. This can come in the form of financial abundance, acts of service from strangers, or people flocking to help you and your work. The only thing that is stopping you right now is your capacity to receive support. You deserve to be rewarded for all the work you are doing. You do not need to go at it alone. Call upon the keepers of the earth to help you and your mission. Open your heart and your mind to receiving more than you ever thought was possible. What kind of support do you need? Call it in right away. 
Okay, so during this activation, I'm going to allow a little bit of time for you to add in whatever support you might need. Okay, so let's do this. Normally, you would um, put the card on your heart and say this out loud, but in, you know, absence of the card being with you, just put your left hand on your heart, okay, and repeat after me out loud. I am open to receiving a whole new level of support for my life and my work and I call it in now. And you can include any other specific requests here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this really is um, <clears throat> calling in this hidden realm, right, to come and help you. Aquarius, I would um, say to come back and do this every day, if not more than once a day, okay, um, so that you can really activate that for yourself and that um, make that connection even stronger. Okay, Aquarius, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.